In this video, we'll be going through some of the more frequently used capabilities of the plan view. For this, we'll be going across the icons at the top of the view. This first icon is the view menu. This menu holds all of the capabilities of the plan view. However, we don't use this menu all that frequently because the view features that we use the most are accessed through these other icons. Now we've already seen what the plus and minus icons do in that they are used to add or remove models. The next icon is the view fit, which we've used already as well, which is used to fit the viewport to the data on in that view. Uh, the next icon is view pan, and this works how you'd expect a pan to work. So select this icon, then left click and hold in the plan view, and you can pan around the viewport. The next icon is the view zoom, we click that one, then left click and move your cursor to draw a rectangle, then double click to zoom in relative to that rectangle. Alternatively, just to do that again, I'll select view fit, again select the view zoom, then just single click, then do the second click in a different plan view and that view will zoom relative to that rectangle. Next is the view shrink. So if we click that one, then again, draw the rectangle and left click, the view will shrink relative to the rectangle we drew. Uh, the next icon is view previous, which when clicked will take us back to the previous zoom. So it'll zoom back in for us in this case. The next icon is the view toggles. If we click that one, we get a list of items that we're able to toggle on and off, depending on what information we'd like to display in the view. We can toggle on string information like string names, Z values and vertex locations. If I toggle on Z values and string names in the plan survey view, you'll see there are a lot of points, so a lot of data to display. Uh, but if we zoom in, you can see each data point has a name being displayed in blue and a Z value or height being displayed in yellow. We can toggle those off now. And using this menu, we can also toggle tin settings, like tin contours or tin flow arrows. In the view that has the ground tin added, I'll toggle tin contours first. And you can see the tin is now no longer displayed as triangles, but rather as contours, which is a bit more useful if we want to know the topography of the surface, just looking at the plan view. Now, these aren't contours that we can plot to plans, they are just for display purposes. And we can even go further and toggle on tin flow, which will add these green arrows indicating the downhill direction. These are more commonly used by drainage engineers to determine the direction rainfall will run off for drainage purposes, but they can still be useful for us. I'll toggle these flow arrows off and we'll keep moving across the icons. The next icon is view redraw. Some features will alter the data which is currently on in a view. In situations where this occurs, the view is required to be redrawn or refreshed, and you can do that with this icon. But usually I just zoom in and out and that will redraw the view as well. The next icon is for plotting. So we can create plan view plots using that icon but we'll skip over plotting and get to that at the end of the course. The next icon is used to copy or duplicate a view with all the same data and settings. The icon after that is the view properties. So we'll select this icon. And there are various tasks we can perform in this panel. Down the side here in the models node, we can add or remove models from the view which we'd usually do with the plus and minus icons. Uh, in the grids node, 
We can select the drop down icon next to draw and select draw grids first on view. And you'll see when we pick that, a default grid has been created. Using the other settings here, you can customize this grid however you want. Uh, that grid looks pretty good to me though, so I'll let you explore customizing that if you'd like. Uh, in the toggles mode, we can toggle on and off certain information. This node is a little more advanced than the toggle icon directly in the plan view toolbar, because here we can toggle information on specific models rather than all the models that are currently on in a view. Uh, under settings, we can change some general display settings. And under tin settings, we can change the setting of our tin toggles. So say we want our display contours to be more frequent, we could update the contour increment to 0 0.5. and that will update the display contours in the view. We can also change the view size, but I usually use the view controls to place the view in the workspace exactly where I want it, as we've been doing. And lastly, we can change the viewport or the real world extents of the view. But this I usually do by just manually zooming. I'll select finish on this panel. And we won't cover the gold and blue star icons in this video, which are the view favorites and view positions, but we'll provide a link to extra learning if you'd like to learn more about them. And lastly, we have our view controls, uh, which positions our views in our view space as required.